Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Trey Gowdy and welcome to Sunday Night in America. I like fairness. It's why I like golf more than professional wrestling and the courtroom more than Congress. Fairness is often requires a referee. We don't have to like the referee, but we should be able to respect the referee. The most recent example of duplicity and unfairness is the manner in which congressional investigations are handled by the political parties and the media. The D.C. media never met a Republican investigation that should start or a Democrat investigation that should end. With Fast and Furious, the Democrats and the media never took an interest. You would think two groups constantly talking about gun control would be interested in the U.S. aiding and abetting the flow of guns to Mexican drug cartels. With Lois Lerner and the IRS, most Democrats and the media didn't care about that. Benghazi? More Democrats voted to investigate what happened in Benghazi, Libya, than Republicans voted to investigate the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Did you know that? Did you know more Democrats voted to form a select committee to investigate the deaths of four Americans in Libya than Republicans voted for the January 6th select committee? Of course you didn't know that because the media wants you to believe one inquiry was a witch hunt while the other is bipartisan and serious. And I'm not trying to change your mind on any of those investigations. You're free to think they were worth pursuing or not pursuing. I do happen to think what happened on January the 6th is worthy of investigation, prosecution, and incarceration for those convicted. But regardless of what you think about the merits of those investigations, I would hope we could all agree the same standard, the same rules, the same process should apply to all congressional investigations, regardless of who is in power. The rules should not change depending on which team is up to bat, and the strike zone should not change depending on which political party is conducting the investigation. Kevin McCarthy picked five Republicans to populate the January 6th committee. He's the highest ranking Republican in Congress, and therefore he picks the Republican members. But Nancy Pelosi rejected two of his picks. She refused to allow them to participate. She summarily deemed them unqualified. And we're not sure why she rejected Leader McCarthy's picks, because the DC media is too afraid of her to ask, too afraid to risk losing an interview, too afraid to risk losing sources, too afraid to not be on the receiving end of a leak. The D.C. media tells us they speak truth to power. They tell us democracy dies in darkness. They tell us they publish all the news that's fit to print and a host of other meaningless self-congratulatory platitudes but they can't question Pelosi on her own duplicity when it comes to congressional investigations. She put Adam Schiff on the Benghazi committee, even though his mind was fully made up and he did everything he could to protect the Democrat nominee for president. That was his job, not to interview survivors, not to access information, not to ascertain why the military didn't respond in a timely manner, but to protect Hillary Clinton. Pelosi picked him despite his bias. She also picked Schiff to investigate Donald Trump over Russia collusion allegations, even though Schiff misstated evidence, prejudged the outcome, and claimed to have evidence he never produced. She picked Schiff to lead the prosecution in a failed impeachment trial, even though Schiff misstated facts, Misrepresent, misrepresented a meeting with a whistleblower and manufactured evidence during a committee hearing. Pelosi picked him anyway. Pelosi picked Eric Swalwell to investigate Trump, even though Swalwell was running for president against Trump. She picked Swalwell for the Intelligence Committee, despite his close relationship with a Chinese spy. She picked Joaquin Castro to investigate Trump while his twin brother was running against Trump for president. 
She picked Democrats on her January 6th select committee, even though they themselves challenged the 2016 election results. She picked a Democrat to investigate the January 6th attack on the Capitol, even though that Democrat sued Trump in court. Nearly 500 people have been charged with various crimes related to January 6th. Those cases are being investigated by law enforcement. They'll be prosecuted and sentenced if convicted. And there's not a single cop, prosecutor, or judge who would be allowed to remain on those cases if he or she did what Schiff, Swalwell, Castro, or the others did. Not one. She picked her own biased members, but she rejected Jim Jordan. Jordan is the top Republican on the Judiciary Committee. He was on the Intelligence Committee, which has more access to more sensitive information than any committee in Congress. Jordan has participated in previous investigations. He worked hard and he didn't leak, which is more than I can say for many of his colleagues. But whether you like Jim Jordan or not is irrelevant. Whether you think the previous investigations or even the current ones are appropriate is beside the point. Congress has the power and often the responsibility to investigate, but it should be fair. And it's fair to ask why Democrat members of Congress are free to prejudge evidence, misstate evidence, challenge election results, sue the person they're investigating, run against the person they're investigating, leak like sieves, and yet they're qualified for service on an investigative committee. But Jim Jordan is not. And that's the question. Why Schiff and not Jordan? Why Swalwell and not Jordan? Why is it your members can have their minds already made up, but somehow that is disqualifying for the other side? It's the sort of question a serious, objective media would ask. It's the sort of question a media serious about speaking truth to power would ask. It's the sort of question a media devoted to the truth would ask. But the modern media in this country is just as partisan as the politicians themselves. Truth to power, they claim. Democracy dies in darkness, they claim. Well, it doesn't do very well in the slew of hypocrisy either. And that's where we are right now. In no small part, because the referee is just as partisan as the players. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.